My mom thought I was being uh, sex trafficked, but I was always left with the bill, so I spent about eight grand. So he made you pay for everything. He was the most famous person you've chatted to. David Guetta was in his house last Ooh. summer. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, we've got someone with blue hair. <laughs> she wanted to come on here just so she matches the colour of the show and all that. It's Nicole O'Brien from Too Hot to Handle. Hello. And now, singer? Yeah, singer. So talk to us. You was on Too Hot to Handle. Yeah. Everyone knows before you went on Too Hot to Handle, you was meant to go on Love Island. Yes. Why didn't you? What happened? So basically, this was when I was like 20, 20 maybe, or 21. Okay. It was like, I was in uni doing my degree and what did you study in business so you know, sorry just to stop you there yeah <laughs> anyone who goes uni to study business i was cussing the shit out of someone the other what? week what it is the biggest waste of time no in it's the... not what what you studying why don't you go get a job uh, i did actually have a job and i had a really good job did you learn anything from uni and business um no I learned more when I did work, but I just, do you know what? My family are business owners. So they were like, okay, I know you don't want to do uni, but just do this and whatever. So I did business, <clears throat> excuse me. And then basically had an audition for Love Island and went through the whole process and ended up getting it. And it was like a few days before I was meant to leave. I told my oh, parents. Oh shit, so you got it, you got everything. Yeah, I got it. And it was a Fuck. few days before I was meant to leave and I told my parents. So and they were like, told them, oh, 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 I told them that like I had the audition, whatever. And they were like, oh, that's great. Okay. But I think they didn't think I was going to get it. Okay. So they weren't like saying, don't do it and whatever. And then when I got it, I told them and they were like, okay. And it didn't really hit them. And then I was on the way to a lecture and they were like, rang me, Nicole, we're outside. Um, come outside before you go into the lecture and hop into the car. So I was like, okay, this is weird. So I hopped into the car and they were like, you are not going on Love Island until you finish your degree, then you can do whatever you want. You've got another two years left of uni and we're not paying for the rest of it. Like, unless you-, you stay. You, yeah, unless you don't go so on it. what do your mom and dad do? So they're sound engineers, they own and they- Sound engineers? Sound. Oh, sound. So they, do, they sell like DJ equipment and- um, I'll get me some new mics and stuff. Yeah, look, <laughs> they're, they're the best in Ireland. Like they oh, did really? Michael Jackson's concert oh, in Queens. Oh, and shit. Everything. Yeah, they're, they're fucking unreal. But um, yeah, so I was like so upset about that. And I was so oh, angry with them for ages. What did the producers say? Producers weren't happy with me. Because it was a couple of days before. It, it was a couple of days pissed. beforehand, yeah. So I was meant to be one of the first bombshells. So I wasn't a main cast member, but I was brought out the same day as everyone to okay. go in as one of the first bombshells. And um. Yeah, so I would then be studying in the library for my exams, looking at all these people on Instagram doing Numbers whatever. Going up, and I was like, up. this is so depressing. Like, what am I doing? But I'm a true believer that everything in life happens for a reason. 100%. So got my degree, did really well in college or uni. And in, in business. Yeah, in business. Yes, in business. <laughs> I'm not and then comment. what do you mean I, this I, is crazy no one has ever said that to me because no one is real like me oh my god I that swear is so you, dramatic yeah? no, no, i'm being honest with you yeah <clears throat> if you want to go and be a lawyer a doctor a nurse anything like that go go uni i respect it but okay i'm involved in business yeah my yeah. whole life is business if you want to learn business go and get involved like start up a little business Fair. go and that how much was your uni course in total do you know what? In Ireland, it's not that much. I think it's four grand a year. Okay, so you compared there, many, to here, like how many it's years not that was you much. there for? Four. So four, eight, 16 grand. Sixteen, yeah? yeah. With sixteen grand, you can start a business. True, but you need to have a little bit of knowledge with that, and I know that you can get it online gonna, and whatever, and get on, that, and from my parents and whatever. When you're in the business, on Fair. the job. But so also you spend sixteen grand on. But nothing. also, if you want to work like in big companies, are you, like are you working big, in a big, big company? Yeah, I have throughout oh, uni. Okay, cool. So I did like, yeah. Right, I'm just, I'm just so coming shut your you. mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. Um, then you have to have a degree essentially. Well, years ago you did. I don't know about now because I don't do it obviously anymore. But yeah. And then, as I said, everything happens for a reason though. So then I got the same producer asking me to do Too Hot to Handle. How the, did they contact you again? They must have hated they you. Must have, I know, they must have hated me. So I was so confused. But clearly they saw something in you that yeah. they thought, shit, this will work. Exactly. So I moved to London four and a half years ago and then they contacted me. And we're like, oh, like, we'd love you to audition for this show. And they couldn't tell me what it was. They couldn't tell me what network it was for. They couldn't tell me anything. They so were like, it's just a dating that? show. That is it. So you go in then to the Fremantle offices and the production offices. 
and do all these interviews and whatever. And so I'm thinking, okay, it's the exact same as Love Island. Yeah. Like the interviews are the exact same. So this is fine. And you knew that you knew the right things to say. I knew. I like, yeah, I knew. Because if you got Love Island, it's a lot easier to get to. Yeah, there. exactly. But when we got it, <clears throat> when we got offered the show, like I, hand on heart, I thought it was Love Island, but like just called something else, but okay. you had to couple up yeah, with yeah. someone. So I was so confused with everything that was going on. So when did you get told it was too hot to handle? Uh, or you didn't? Two days into filming. In filming? In filming. Oh, shit. So we didn't know. It, they told us it's for a large streaming network. Okay. That we didn't know if it was for Netflix while we were in there. Didn't have a clue. Yeah, you're crazy. Because I know. like, how can you go on something having... That's like you coming on this show right now and me saying, I'm going to ask you anything and you must I answer know. it. You must have been like... Can you imagine how my parents thought? I told them, okay, I'm going on a show. I have I'm no flying, idea what it is. I I'm flying to Mexico. I will have no contact with you for a month. I will have no phone, no nothing. Don't know where in Mexico I'm going. Parents are strict? Must be. No, not really, no? not really. Okay. Like they're proper Irish mommy and daddy, but they're quite chill as well. Okay. So they're strict in some aspects, but not really. They're quite easy going. Yeah. So they're all about chase your dreams, do whatever you want. Do you know what I mean? They knew that I wanted to do Love Island years ago. So they were like, okay, come here. We'll let her do this. <laughs> so like literally Mexico with no phone, no contact with anyone for a full month. Couldn't tell them what the show was about. Couldn't tell them what, where it'd be airing, anything. Because I didn't know. So can you imagine as a parent, your my, child my dad, telling my dad you. My think I'm being kidnapped. My mom thought I was being uh, sex trafficked. Stop. Okay. Now I've got your attention. Make sure you hit subscribe. In Mexico. But genuinely, because if you turn around and say, okay, I'm going on a show. All I know is it's in Mexico. What's it called? Don't know. Literally. Who's it with? Don't know. Like, and then I, I had to give her like a few numbers of the producers. But come here, that could be anyone. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So she was freaking out, bless her, for like the full month. And when I rang her, when I came out, she started bawling, crying, <laughs> being like, you're alive. You're, you're okay. But I think she must have been watching you. On, oh, no, it wasn't no, live. No, yeah, it wasn't live. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it yeah, was so a, crazy. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. Like Love it's Island, mad. at least it's, you're watching your daughter on the yeah. show. You're like, okay, she's safe. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, fuck that. I know. Fuck so that. crazy. That's hard. Yeah. So You went on the show, what was it like on there? Oh, it was weird. I mean, obviously it was the first show I filmed, so straight away, like what we was go the in robot called? That Lana. Lana. Lana, Lana yeah. So season four is actually out did, in two weeks' time. Did you break any of the rules? I did, but it wasn't shown. Oh really? I was good though. I only kissed people. So how much do you get for kissing? How much did you Three use for grand. Kissing? Three grand. Yeah. Like, that's a fucking good kiss, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Really? And then I look back and I'm like, in the moment I thought it was, it definitely wasn't. Three thousand pounds. So you didn't do anything else? Go on. No, I was so good because I feel like I knew I always wanted to do music. So this is like you my gateway yeah, into yeah. doing music. So I thought if I do anything so they like didn't that. show that you kissed anyone? No, no, no. But did they announce that you kissed someone? No. Oh, so, so you just didn't get lost. You didn't lose three grand. No, exactly. Oh, so basically you're filming for about 15 hours a day um, for 30 days, but eight hours gets shown out of the whole thing. So you can imagine and the thing is, there like, was fist fights. There was, there oh, was arguments. Shit. There was shouting. There was like people chucking each other in the pool like and like throwing. Yeah, it, it was fucking mad. But it all got cut out yeah. because they wanted it a family friendly show instead of like, so like I said before we Pots started the podcast, wild. I just filmed one and you saw, and I said, it's so hard just doing two podcasts because you're shattered. You've always got to be energetic. You've always got to be mm. smart. You can't just sit there like that in front of the guests. So I know. You're filming for 15 hours. Yeah. You so can't slip up once. At all. Well, so we wake up at like half seven, eight in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse what, they me. They wake you up. Yeah, the lights come on and then Lana talks and wakes you up. No, I wouldn't wake then up, I swear we, to you. I know, Seven but then we have to have breakfast. <laughs> we have um, private chefs, so who cook Living us. Like, it was, our villa was next to Justin Bieber's. Like, they oh, were on shit. holiday there at the time and Kylie Jenner. So over the course of the month, oh, they were both there. Amazing. It was unbelievable. And then I had to go back because I was broke as fuck then. <laughs> I had to go back to my box apartment in Clapham cooking 40p penny pasta after that so it was a hard hit to reality <laughs> from living but that changed life. real quick though no yeah that must have changed like crazy quick i had to wait a full year for it to come out so oh, fuck. my oh, yeah shit. so you were just sitting like don't worry i'm gonna be there soon no but netflix said don't expect it to be big so don't have any expectation because it's season one so oh, we don't yeah. know what's gonna happen but to be fair all season ones are the ones that blow 
Like most Yes of the- and no, you can never really tell. Like, because they, this is their first reality show. Yeah, They'd Netflix. never done reality ever before this. Um, so I think Love is Blind had come out like three weeks previous to our okay, show coming out yeah. for the first time. So Netflix were like, keep your day jobs, guys. Don't go thinking you're going to be big after this. So I had no expectation. I, still, I was still working my day job like two months into it coming out and I had to quit because I couldn't do it anymore. But oh, that's mad. I'd take my month's hol- like annual leave to go filming, so I'd no holidays for a full year. So what was the first thing you done <clears throat> when it when it got? So how long did it take for you your account to actually blow up? A week. Or, and your just account just went. Zoom. A f- just a week. It was so crazy, and, and it was during you lockdown. Uh, you know what? Yes. Lockdown could have been the best thing that ever happened to you, though. Hundred percent. Everyone was sat at home. Like right now, I mm-hmm. genuinely can't tell you the last time I watched TV. I genuinely don't know the last time I put TV on in my house and watched a movie. Really? I have no idea. That's mental. You've got to remember, I get home at one o'clock in the morning from the restaurant. My go-to thing is shisha. Yeah. Oh, I you love, love shisha. shisha. I'll sit at home and I'll just literally smoke my shisha, scrolling through TikTok all yeah, day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout lockdown, I watched the whole of Netflix. Yeah, yeah, There was yeah, nothing yeah. left on Netflix for me to watch. Yeah. So that could have been amazing like for you. Lot. No, it definitely helped 100%. And I think... Yeah, like it just blew up within the week. It was just so mental. So and I'm so did you thankful. Had management? Had management, yeah, at the time. I sourced that right before I came out. Yeah, so that was good. Otherwise, I'd be lost if I didn't have management. Are you still with the same agency? No. Okay. I've changed four times, but now I'm very happy with who four I'm times. with. <laughs> now, though, I, I'm very picky, though. If I ring you at 2 a.m. because I think of ideas all the time, you better answer. Yeah. If I, if I, there's no really. nine to five if you're my manager. It's, That's when not I how call my brain you works. Answer. Do you know what I mean? No, so yeah. like it's taken me a while to find a manager who Can thinks that. like that as well because a lot of people want to do nine to five but no if i think of something at one o'clock in the morning I'm calling your phone. like i won't okay i won't call past 1am let's be realistic but i'll text you at whatever time there's no nine to five no i agree with that Te- look if you've that's your job though that's yeah your, that's what makes you what's going on now you're launching a clothing line clothing brand yeah what's, so what's i actually now? did launch it back in august but then um we had some difficulties with suppliers and stuff so we've had to like scrap a supplier and now i'm at, going to a warehouse you've seen yesterday right, yeah. and like she let me down yesterday guys just to let, just yeah. to let you all know <laughs> she did let me down yesterday okay but i'm, I'm here today so it's fine and so, i never actually do that i never let people down so, so i apologize actual, like my number one pet hate <laughs> is let down oh my god no oh, same I and that's why i kept apologizing if you plan something with me you better fucking be there oh my god it's don't worst, say that it's the worst thing all right i, I was like 10 minutes late today yeah and i was like I, I was filming a podcast with someone and i'm texting her going i'm gonna be five minutes just because i ha- my timing i hate being late yeah i'm the same i'm, I'm late to the restaurant I hate being late every single well. day like my dad would be like yo be here for one and you'll be there at like three no no he knows as well he says mikey has an illness i actually have an illness i am always late always late. you just said you hate people who are late but i hate people who are late to see me I'm allowed to be late. That's different. Right, okay. But don't ever be late. Okay. So, all right, I've got a question for you. Yeah. I was... Googled your name earlier, because obviously... Oh, God. I, I had to Google you a little bit. So I'm just... <laughs> and I saw your ex-boyfriend yeah. swindled you out of some money. Yeah. Where is he? Where can I find him? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go this collect is, this money This is you? so funny. So, Netflix actually had me be the face of the promo for a Tinder swindler. Oh, swear. <laughs> right? God. So, they reached out and they are like... Hey Nick, like, um, do you have any story that we could use for the promo for Tinder Swindler for all the socials? And I was like, I actually have a really good story for you guys. So, um, let me tell you. So basically, during lockdown, yeah. I met this guy, this Irish guy, and we knew each other for years, but we'd never actually met, just like social media friends, and he was really good looking. And then we was met. Better up, looking than me. No, you're better looking. Yeah, you're a better personality. So, too. how much did you give him? So, so basically, can I take double of whatever. That <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Go, never on. again. So you met up with him. So met up with him. That was fine. But I move fast with people if I like them, right? Okay. So because I don't how like playing fast games. Are we talking? So like second date, I suggested we go to the Amalfi Coast. Second. Date. <laughs> <laughs> like I so, understand. Like second date. Like, no, I know it's a bit dramatic. Let's go to Manchester. No, or... yeah, it's very dramatic. So and um, it was obviously lockdown as well. Like how did you even fuck? get there? I flew. Well, it was fine. Like, no restrictions. It, like, you had to have, like, your mask and do your tests and whatever. But this is, like, 2020 lockdown. Okay, after, cool. Like, 2021. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it wasn't that bad. No, it was. No, but I, I don't know as, how. Not, not as bad as after. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. But 
we go to the Amalfi Coast anyway, and then he's like... So, how, but one minute, second date, yeah. but how long would you see each other? Actually, no, sorry, that was the third date. The second date, I went, I flew to Ireland to stay in his family home. You so I met his family, family on the second, second date. But this is actually the second date or second no. time meeting him? Oh, sorry, second time meeting him. Yeah. So one second, that's like me and you doing this podcast yeah. and me just taking you home to my mom, like, mom, this money, girlfriend. <laughs> literally, literally, it was so weird. But wasn't his family like, yo, uh, what the fuck's going on? No, I don't know. We is got that on like an really Irish well. thing? Is that like you do no, everything fast? It's, no, it's not. It was very strange. Second I, time meeting them, guy, you met his whole I family. I met his family, stayed in his family home, like went out with his family for dinner. Like it was weird, right, but, but they were really nice. Were you like talking because for example i've been seeing a girl talking where, two months oh, so it's not that bad that no is in when you look at it like i've been seeing a girl where start chatting to her meet her she goes on holiday for like six weeks then we meet again so it's not too bad as in we're talking six while weeks. she's away all oh, right do you know what i mean see i'm impatient though i couldn't wait that long so no i mean as in from the first time you met him yeah to the second date how long was that oh well do you get he, what I mean? he, in that yeah sense. I, get, I get you okay yeah because he was in ireland yeah okay but yeah, so two days into the third date when we were in the Amalfi Coast, he tells me that he is in debt of a lot of money. So I'm thinking, okay, so well, why... who paid for the trip out there? So he got his flights. You pay for the accommodation at the end of the week, right? Oh, sweet. He wanted an upgrade on this. This hotel was stunning. Like I'm talking 10 out of 10. He wanted an upgrade on the room because the balcony wasn't big enough. So I'm thinking, okay, well, he's clearly getting the hotel. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If he's asking for an upgrade, yeah, then he's... because I wasn't fast. So then, anyway, and then the, at the end of the week, you play, you pay your uh, pool tab. So yeah. like all the drinks at the pool. That's a good hotel. Normal hotels, they make you pay there and then. No, yeah, it's like a tab thing. So I'm thinking, and I didn't ha- you get none of this on like promo or nothing like that. No, no, no. Oh, so enough. this is after Too Hot to Handle came out like a few months after. So I had a lot of press interviews. So yeah. I was going up and down to the hotel room like every day when we were at the pool, being like, okay, just give me an hour. Like yeah. I've got like four interviews, blah blah. And then at the end of the week, I'd gotten two Aperol spritz all week and a That's toasty. It. That is all. 750 pounds right then the so he was living good <laughs> yeah he rinsed it then he would order like two main courses two starters things like that like so much drink and in your head he's paying for this now yeah like, i thought course. but i was always left with the bill so i spent about eight grand so he made you pay for everything mm-hmm. in the hotel yeah he but got the he... car the first day which was i think a few hundred and that was it no but i mean is in when it comes to pay time like what did he say he would just look at me and because he had told me that he was in debt, I was like, no, I couldn't. okay. I, couldn't. I felt awkward. I didn't know what to do. And you know what? I've kind of brought that habit now into like, on a first date, like I'll try pay. And even if they don't want to, like I'll go to the bar and I'll pay. And like, I, cause I, I hate when you see, people. I couldn't, the way I've been brought up, my mom, well, my mom and dad have brought me up in the sense as you're a man, you're old fashioned, you pay. If me and my girl go out and it's, house shopping or food shopping yeah. like, i don't care if you pay for that that's like do your thing mm-hmm. like pay for it i don't give a shit if we're going out for dinner and i've said babe let's go out and have food that's i'm inviting you out if you turn around to me and say oh mikey i really want to go to this really expensive restaurant yeah i'm still gonna pay but in in i get if you want to pay because you've invited me kind of thing yeah okay but i get that as a man if i'm taking you out i have to pay it's my job yeah like i could never that's nice though i feel like i go for the fellas who rinse me like even I the other day like i went it. on a date and i paid and whatever and then like afterwards he expected me to pay for more and more because I had paid for what we were doing. No, can you start taking me out, please? This no, sounds wicked, man. No, 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 like no, no. So I don't want people to get this twisted. Like, <laughs> I I now have realised that I need to stop doing that. And it's me being too nice and offering. No, a girl should and, always offer. She yeah. Should all, like, unless we've been together for, like, X amount of time. But if it's yeah. the first... If we're dating, I expect her to always pull out her purse and be like, oh, no, 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 this one's... Mm-hmm. A- I'll never let her, but offer so you know there's that respect. Mm. But not just like, oh, yeah you pay no no if a girl says to me you're paying the bill i'll pay it and i ain't seeing her again yeah oh no, my god no can you imagine though that's so no rude way. i've gone out on a date once with a girl and bill comes i think we went novikov we did we went novikov. nice the bill was like 350 quid because when i go out, i order everything i'm a fat bastard oh, i yeah. like to eat everything yeah <laughs> so i order it and then the bill comes and like she just kind of looked at me and i'm not gonna let her pay anyway mm. but fucking offer like she just looked at you yeah like at least pretend you're looking in your bag 
Like, be like, no, no, no. Fuck I- sake. I'm going to pay. Don't worry, but just... Was she really fit, though? 12 out of 10. Mm, that's annoying. 12 out of 10. But I do think... I've learned, I used to be so shallow, like so shallow. I only would ever go for looks. This is like before I did. That's why I got cast in Too Hot to Handle because I had meaningless flings all the time. Only cared about looks, didn't care about personality. Now, it's I'm sorry. It's well, it's like definitely fifty fifty. I would say. I'm. I'll be honest with you. If I'm ever gonna chat to a girl, she's gonna be ten ten. Right. No, because initial. I've got to be sexually yeah, attracted yeah. to you straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. I think personality is like 90% mm. because I, no matter how good you look, if I'm sitting at home and you're doing my nutting, yeah, true. I can't, I can't do it. I, no. I genuinely can't do it. I've dated girls who are 12 out of 10s who are the rudest humans ever. I know. People and I just so rude. like, like who the fuck do you think you are? No way. I can't do it. I can't. I know. So but anyway, we sidetracked back to this guy <laughs> taking eight grand off you. Did you see him? I bet you saw him again. No guys, I did. I know. No, when when I this say I was a mug, to you, I was a mug. It I know. This is why other guys make you pay. This is so bad, right? Well, you so, saw him again. So I, you're no, you're gonna kill me when I tell you. I actually Did brought him. Away? No, I brought him on the fourth day. Well, the fourth time seeing him essentially after the week's holiday to go meet my family. <laughs> my darling, you know your brain. Is there anything inside of it? <laughs> is it? Is it mashed potato? No. How <laughs> mental is that? So you've That's gone. That's so fucked. I know. So I literally brought him back, and I told my parents nothing. I didn't tell them anything. What so went what about on? The ten, how, how much money did he? Was he in debt? Uh, about twenty k, I think. So did he Not try that and much ask you compared. for like, some money? No, he actually didn't. But that make it better. I know. Oh. So anyway, met my family. Didn't tell my mom or dad anything. But when he was in West Cork with us, he would always be like, oh, my wallet's in the car. I forgot this. So mom and dad, because when I, when I go home, mom and dad pay for everything. Do you know what I mean? 100%. So mom and dad were then getting all the meals. He wouldn't even buy him a fucking drink. Like nothing. It was so, it was so weird. And um, yeah, and then, and then the morning that he was leaving, that I was flying back, I woke up, but I was like on his shoulder and he didn't know I had my eyes open. He was messaging a girl. And the girl was like, are you still with that girlfriend of yours? Because he had actually asked me out in the Amalfi Coast. This is what well, I mean by we moved time, really fast. Second time meeting the guy, he's asked you Yeah, to like we were really intense. That's never ever happened to me before. And um, This guy must have looked 12 out of 10. Fuck he was me. stunning, yeah. And he was like, um, oh, what girlfriend? And I was like, usually I would fucking kick off. Because I am very feisty when you're in the wrong. And when you've done something wrong, usually I'm chilled. But if you've done something wrong, I will let you know. And, uh, but I just said nothing. And I find that he just left and I just acted normal. My mom then said to me, she didn't know any of this stuff was happening. She said, oh, I can tell that he's using you. He also told all the press about us and I told him not to. And it was only my three close friends that knew. You know, if I went out with my girlfriend's family, the first, I would have to pay. Ain't that just like the gentleman, like you have to, no? No, you don't. No, of course you But that's just a nice gesture and a nice thing to do. So but like, I took, I went out with my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. And it was me, her, and her nan. Mm. What, so what, you think I'm going to let the nan pay? What am I, dick? No, I could never. That's I don't, sweet. There's so many things that I just don't understand. Some guys, look, I'm not perfect, yeah? There's some things that I'm the worst human at ever. But yeah. little things like that, ain't you brought up? Like, even when I was like 15 and I'd go cinema with a girl, mm. my mum would be like, you better fucking pay. Da, 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 da. Yeah. That's just how I was brought up. That's just like the normal thing, no? Yeah, I mean... I'd like to think so, but the men I go for, it's like, I go for not nice guys all the time. But I, I'll be honest with you, yeah? Not blaming you at all, so I don't know take it's my, No, I know it's my issue. If you're allowing them to do I that know. from day one, the second time you're meeting the guy, he's asking you to be his girlfriend, what is wrong with you? I know. You probably didn't even know his surname. No, I did. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew him for years, to be fair, but as in the social media friends, and didn't really know him. And but did yeah. he get, like, has he got a following on socials? Yes. Didn't he get like exposed? Uh, exposed in one sense. When you like, did you tell the press like about this story? No, he told the press. What that he took eight grand of you? Oh no! This no, that's what thing. I mean. So when no, that no, no, out, no, because no one's actually put two and two together yet. Because so you don't things like, that I've said right now on this podcast, like, I haven't mentioned so on like the one Tinder like Swindler thing. Show exclusive. You don't want to say his name. 
I'm not gonna know. I know I couldn't. I would feel really bad. I would he feel really he bad. Stole eight grand off you. No, he Come didn't on. steal it. It was me offering. He bumped you for eight thousand pounds. It was a little bit swindling, but he didn't steal it. I so would feel really bad. So people knowing you, they would know who he they is. They all, yeah, everyone I mean, who knows me. I mean, if they put two and two together, like yeah. fans, yeah, they could work out. Who yeah, they could. They could. Guys, so. you know what to do. Yeah, go look at her exes <laughs> and just work out which one it was. You can so. definitely find it on Google. Like, let's be realistic, but yeah, it, that was a mad moment. But I need to just find a nice guy. Not even, I like, do you know what? I like someone who's nice but keeps me on my toes because I'll keep them on their toes as well. So, music career. Yeah. How's it going? And is your music mainly based in Ireland? Or are you like, because I spoke to someone and they said you made the Irish charts. Yeah, so music career assigned to a label. Um, So we've got, it's like, I think I've got two more singles to release under that label. Um, and I've released three tracks. First one was number one in Ireland. Is it? Um, yeah. Second one was number four, uh, and then number three or four in the UK oh, dance so you've, charts. So you've done well. You've done well. Yeah. So this is over the course of the last three years. Okay. So the only reason I wanted to do TV was, was to, to get a platform to do brand. my music. Because, or yeah, because I've constantly been trying to do music my whole entire life but it's really difficult like I know I'm good I know I can do whatever but like it's like a shark tank do you know what I mean like you will get eaten alive exactly so I thought okay how do I get the upper hand here I'll just get a following and then they'll be you know hopefully like what I do and yeah. whatever so yeah and then my recent song Say La Vie was in the charts as well I think it was number four as well in the UK uh, or in the Irish charts yeah. And number 13 in the UK. In the in iTunes, on the iTunes charts, yeah. So, um, yeah, they've done really well. And I've got, like, a good few collabs coming up with different people. But Can you name any or not? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, but they're, um, it's, it's going to be really good. Like, I can't wait. But it's just something that I'm really passionate about. But, like, it's taken me a long time to figure out exactly what area of music I want to do. And... I feel like now you're looking at me with blue hair. Like yeah, I, what's, what what is going on with the blue hair? I feel like when I was Cause like, I thought it was a wig. Like when I, I was, know, it's when not. I was scrolling through your socials, I was like, it's yeah, surely it's a fucking wig. No, like blue hair. I love doing crazy deal. stuff. Like because now I feel like I'm so confident in who I am and what I do, and I'm really happy. And I love expressing my stuff with like or expressing myself with different stuff. So like I'll sit in the chair of the you hairdresser. Had red hair as well, no? Red hair, pink hair. I, I've had every color hair. Back to your blue hair. So, so what color? You, what color is your favorite? My favorite color is probably the red, like ginger or blonde. Ginger. Yeah, I was ginger, but I feel like that suited me the best. But I love doing crazy stuff. Make sure I you love... send me over all these pictures with different color hair. So I'll send you all the pictures. I mean, they're on my Instagram anyway. I got a few questions for you. Okay. So first question is: mm. What is the biggest downside to being in the public eye? Biggest downside is that everyone knows my business and half of it is my fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Half of it is my fault because I do actually tell everyone my business anyway. Like I'm a very open person unless I shouldn't be. Yeah, no, so, so obviously with relationships and stuff, I'll keep it on the down low because otherwise the press just love all that. But like in general, I'll go onto my story and say whatever and people find out stuff anyway about me so i've got nothing to hide anyway like i'm an open book but that is a downside so, and people judge me too fast people think that i'm like gonna be stuck up and whatever i'm no, you're cool. chilled you're actually really really chilled yeah and the one thing i liked about you most is when i dm'd you your management you didn't send me to your management no oh it does my nothing no nah. when i message people You've replied back. Just tell me when you're fucking free. Yeah, exactly. I, there's no Let's need. Let my management deal with it. You want to come on the show, yeah? Yeah. You want to come on. When are you free? Jump on the show. I'll be honest. My manager does do my whole calendar, but like with podcasts and stuff, it's just easy. Do it's, it when it takes like, an don't hour. be a diva about it. Do you know what I mean? Second question. Have you been on any dating apps? Um. Yeah, I have. I'm on Raya. Are you on that? Yeah. You know, someone told me about Raya, yeah? Apparently Raya is harder to get on than to go to Harvard University. I can see how that is possible. You've well, you used to be and have to be in the public eye or doing like or something really high up or being a producer and whatever. But now they just accept a lot of people. So maybe you could go on there. No, as I, don't, well. I don't need to jump <laughs> on that. I don't need that stuff. It is shit. It is shit. Um, I already use it. 
one of my last questions is, <laughs> and if you want to answer, it's up to you. Right. Who is the most famous man that has slid in your DMs? Famous person that has slid in my DMs. Wait, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Can I get my phone one sec? Vinicius Jr. Who? Vinicius Jr. I don't know. Who is that guy? Vinicius Jr. He's Give me your phone. He plays for Brazil. Right, he's massive. 20, I don't watch football as well. Oh, do you not? Can I see what he said? You can read the messages. I can't remember what they were. This is the years ago. What are all these nudes? <laughs> no, there's not. Yo, no, there's not. Fuck me. What did the messages no, even say? I can't even remember. He just popped up and was like, how are you? I'm very good, babe. How are you? I'm fine starting my vacation. Are you still in Marbella? You're when was this? About two years? I love how you're reading the messages. This is how this is so open I am. This was in 2020. <laughs> No, fuck me. Yeah, how do you pronounce his name, though? Oh, fuck it, no. Vin... Vinicius. Vin Vinicius. Vinicius Jr. Jr. He plays for Real Madrid. Right, don't be reading all my DMs now. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's pro Well, that's would the you, guy with the most followers. Would you but... ever date a guy in the public eye? I've dated many guys in the public eye, and I kind of regret it. But the only reason that I'm attracted to guys like that is because they, they understand, understand that I don't work nine to five. I do this, I do that. Like, and they go to the same events as me. So I'm meeting these people. So over the past few years, a lot of them have been in the public eye, but it hasn't lasted. And there's a solid reason for that. I feel like lads in the public eye get a lot of attention. Yeah, but people in the public eye should be used to that by now. Yeah, but the lads I went for were absolute pricks. So they would just take every sort of girl, like, all the time. Well, one of them, like, you know, taxed you for £8,000. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's one question I always ask. Firstly, forget all of that. Open up the envelope, please. Open up. I'm scared. From the last guest. I genuinely don't know what it says. I feel like they're pictures of you naked. Pictures, naked. You ain't that lucky, girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell me what it says. Ah, oh, you literally just asked this question. It oh, said, who is it? the most famous person you've chatted to? Well, you said slid in DMs. Chatted to David Guetta. Really? Was in his house last Ooh. summer. Did you sleep with him? No. I've just got to ask Oh, him. hell no. Who's no. the most famous person you've slept with? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you've got to answer it. I'm trying to think. Famous, most famous. I, I'm, I can't answer that. C come on. Because I just remembered and I can't answer that. Go on, that. just tell us. You, I can't right, Tell us the most that. famous person you've slept with who you can answer. I can't. God, all right, just. I need, I need to be good and not say it because it'll get me in a lot of shit. It won't, just say it. No, I just can't. Just say it, come on. I know you want the clickbait, this is, babe. This is but... a blue tick show. You've got to say it. <laughs> okay, let me think of someone else. One sec. <laughs> so go on, most famous person you've slept um, with. Um... Famous person, I'll say I've done bits with, not slept. Okay. Tiesto. Who, <laughs> Massive uh, DJ. This is years Tiesto. ago. Tiesto. All right, just really on that topic here. How does somebody just do bits with someone? I've never understood how people, I've never understood how people say, oh, I just do bits. So you suck, I get you've that. sucked his dick. Yeah. So why don't you let him fuck you? I get that. So I will tell you. Was it while so, he was DJing? No. Oh. So we were in this hotel room um and then basically my friend then started throwing up outside so oh, nice. i then had that's, to leave so i couldn't end up doing the rest of the deed i had to leave and take her home thank fuck for that isn't it? <laughs> yeah all right so we've covered the most famous person you've slept wait with. who's the most famous person you've slept with dream on um no excuse me if i'm being open you have to be open <laughs> most famous person i've slept with is wouldn't you like to know Oh my god! I don't would be boring. Never, ever, ever tell that. Oh mad? my god! Don't be boring. Most famous person I've slept with. I can't. I don't actually know. Uh, this is your podcast. You're meant to be entertaining. <laughs> uh, most famous person I have slept with. No, genuinely, <laughs> I don't actually know the most famous person I've slept with. Okay, fair. Like I don't. I don't really. I don't really give a fuck how famous someone is. If no, I find them same. fit, I'll, I'll sleep with them regardless. Yeah, hundred percent. So when we first opened up the restaurant, we had blue ticks coming in. Yeah. And I was like, oh, blue ticks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need to sleep with a girl who's got followers. Da, 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 da. Now Ew. I stay. I sw no, but I'm being honest. <laughs> okay. Like, when you, when it first happens, you get, like, gas. Yeah. And now I swear to God, I stay as far away from them as possible. They're oh, more headache. Sad. 
Sorry, darling. I know you. I know you want me, but I'm joking. You can, you can join the list. <laughs> no, I genuinely. I just. No, I get that. And do you know one thing Why? as well? People with a following talk too much. Mm. Like they talk because their whole life is in the public eye, so it's like they've got to tell everyone their life. And that's literally what I just said. No, I do. I, hate I it do so tell much. It. Like I'm such a low key person when it comes down to like Fair. dating. Mm. Everything they do in their life is publicized. Like it is. I've been chatting to a girl with a following before. And then, like, next thing you know, like, her mates come up. Oh, you're chatting to her. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I like it low key. I think less is always more. A hundred percent. With my friends and like our group, we're very private with who we date and whatever. But in terms of other with how we are in life, we're very open. So on social media, I'll tell everyone about my whole day and whatever. But I'll just be very careful with what I say. But I get that because a lot of people are like that. So at what point in your life do you yeah. want to settle down, have kids? Have kids? Well, if you want kids, <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't even know if I want kids that much. Oh, serious? Mm, like, I will have kids. I know oh, I will. Question for you then. Everything you're doing it now, what are you doing it for? For me. Okay, so when I you... want to build a massive empire. For who? What, just when you go, it goes? Oh, that's very true. But no, I do, I do think I will have kids, but I haven't really thought about it. Like, I'm 27. I don't want kids until I'm at least 35, which is old. I want to do as much as I can. I want to travel loads. Like, I don't even want to get a cat right now because I don't want to even look after something. I want to be able to do whatever I want. And if I want to go to LA tomorrow, I can go to LA tomorrow. True. I don't have anything to worry about because this is like... So you want to go to LA to that guy who lives in America? No, he That's lives in wants, he lives in the other side of America. I do plan on going to LA. I was going to live there next year, but I'm not now for a good few years. But that <laughs> that's my plan, though, is I don't want to have any anything tying me down in terms of like a family. So your next three year goals, what are they? Okay, yeah, next three years. I make a plan for like 24 hours. Yeah, <laughs> literally <laughs> That's though. That's my plan, 24 hour plan. Next three years, I want to have like my clothing brand be really what big. What is your clothing brand called? Agenda Collection. Could be like plug it, you know, Agenda yeah, Collection. Yeah, Agenda Collection, guys, go check it out. Male, female or both? A uh, lot of items are unisex, but majority is female. Okay. So it's very like, it's Boohoo Man vibes. Okay. Shit that I wear, like hoodies, track suits, like oversized tees, yeah. Um, do you want a blue tick hoodie? Do you want me to get you one? Yeah. Okay, what colour do you want? Mm, what colours do you do? Well, I was just going to get you one made, so whatever colour you want. Oh, great. Uh, blue, please. But you want the whole hoodie in blue? Yeah. All right, cool. I, if that's what you want, I'll get Or you maybe one. black, actually. No, I wear a lot of one. black. I'll get you. Are you no, gonna wear get it me around? the black one. I'm gonna get, uh, I'll make a deal with you. If it's I got get your you name one, on it. If I get you one, you have to promise me you'll take a picture and post it on your Insta. I'll post it on my story. <laughs> so okay so i'm actually gonna get you a hoodie just let yeah you. do okay what size do you want do you want uh, like a large medium, one so that's really yeah baggy on you. yeah baggy ones three so three goals so agenda collection having that be big and i've got an amazing business partner what is agenda it's just like so agenda i came up with it because it's like you can have a good agenda or a bad agenda okay. so we've have like a little angel angel and devil like little emoji thing which is like the image for the brand cool. but it's like are i just gonna, thought it was quite different are you gonna different. go into male clothing as well yeah definitely are, yeah? i wear male male clothing you wear males yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i wear males all the yeah, time all the time you just like you love males um so can i like when you launch it can i be like the model for the collection i actually do need a model do you yeah would you do it what have i got to wear like hoodies like that oh, cool no problem and maybe this is a bodysuit from the collection i'm maybe not sure that would fit body me. i don't think that would fit me Get your gooch in. That's a bodysuit. You want me to wear a bodysuit? Yeah. That's like girls, isn't it? Yeah. What the fuck am I going to wear a bodysuit? <laughs> I'm taking the piss. <laughs> fuck? I'm taking the piss. Like so. Um, but yeah, so that and the music. Obviously, I have a lot of stuff coming up at music. I'm in the studio three times a week. So there's a lot. And then just find a fella. I want. I do kind of want to settle down. So you want to settle down? <laughs> I do want to settle down, to be fair. I've been single for so long. Um, but but how, I want someone who has got be, the same morals as me. I was about to me. say, don't you think it's going to be really hard for a guy to settle down with you with you wanting to move to LA you wanting to and you live like one mad spontaneous life I can imagine I you're do. the kind of girl you've been laying in bed like a guy would be like yo let's fly to fucking France tomorrow you'd be like okay let's go yeah I actually I've done that a few times that's how I but I need someone who's spontaneous then 
like that's what I need so <laughs> if you want to find a fella settle down with someone spontaneous yeah. trips yeah I mean they don't have to be too spontaneous maybe I need to calm down with my spontaneity whatever the fucking word is I'm going to ask you one last question I need a proper good story from it mm-hmm. and then we're going to wrap this podcast mm-hmm. up and you've got to write a question for the next guest okay alright question is out of all the dates you've been on I want to know the worst date story Okay. And then after that, I need your ick list because I ask everyone their ick list. Okay. Oh my God, I've got so many bad dates. Fuck me, how many have you been on? What, dates in general? Yeah, you got Oh a my lot, God, yeah. when I came to London, I was a serial dater. Oh. Doesn't I mean just... that I slept with them, just meant that I went on a lot of dates. I would go on like two dates a week. Two dates a week? And how mm. many would you uh, sleep? Oh, not many. Unless it was proper dating them, I wouldn't sleep mm, with them. I've, o- I've only slept with like a small go amount. On. Go on, what's the number? I'm not going to tell you my you number, but it's say, small. You can't say small. All right. Below, it is small. Below how many? Below 20. That's not bad, to be fair. I think that's quite good. I've only slept with uh, three girls in it. Well, that's a lie, because I can tell by your facial expression. It's way below 20. Okay. So right? below 10 or not? Uh, no, but close. Oh. Right, cool. But I am a good girl. But I used to date a lot. Worst okay. date. Worst date. Okay. Worst day, fuck, I've got so many I don't know where to start. Okay, here's one that was really bad. So I went on a date with this guy and we went to this cocktail bar. Mm-hmm. In London? He en- yeah, he ends up chugging down the drinks. So I'm like, okay. Hmm. Do you drink a lot or not? I can handle my drink, but yeah. are you a big drinker when you go out or no, not really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, like I don't mind it. Says that while holding a glass of wine. Yeah, I, lo- I love a wine. <laughs> I am Irish though, do you know what I mean? True. So basically, yeah, so we went to this place and he ends up having a few drinks and I'm like okay I can handle my drink but this guy can't so he's looking a bit drunk then we end up going to another bar in Shoreditch and he asks for like half a pint of whiskey straight so I'm thinking that's weird and he ends up downing it and basically passing out on the table one minute (laughs) one minute half a pint of whiskey of whiskey yeah of Jameson so he ends up downing it and then passes out on the table so I'm like trying to wake him being like hello are you okay? KO'd. <laughs> KO'd. So I just left. Please tell me you left. Oh, good. Yeah, I just left. Of course and I did. And did he contact you in the Yeah, morning? he was like, hey, like last <laughs> night. <laughs> wait, what, this piece wait. Of conked out yeah. on the table. Yeah, and what was his out. reason tomorrow, the next day? No, he didn't remember, obviously. So he goes, hey, last night was so much fun. Like, do you want to do something this week? I blocked a late. Excuse me, what minute, the hell? These are passed out on the table. Yeah. Passed out like and as he was, in, and he won't wake up. Yeah, I was robbing him like, hello. How did he get home? Gone. I, I don't know. He's big enough. He can figure it out. Well, okay. On yeah. That note, well, wait. What's your worst day? Why do is it? I'm the host. I, I know, but I want to know. I want to know. My worst date. I don't really date much. To be fair with you, genuinely, not really my thing. Uh, my worst date. No, genuinely, I don't. I haven't actually got any bad like horror stories. Really? Well, anyway, Nicole, it was lovely having you on the podcast. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks a million. for the um, entertainment. Yeah, of course, any time, hon. Right. Before we go, you've okay. got that there pen here catch. Great catch. My hands are really cold, to be fair. Well, I did ask if it was cold. Right. I'll write it on the table. Let me just. But I don't want to see it. Yeah. You want to no, see I it? No, I don't want to. I oh. don't want to know what it is. Okay. Well, yeah. then you just have to close your eyes. Anyway, guys, while she's doing that, make sure you all go and hit subscribe right now. Like the video and all of Nicole's socials and all of that stuff is below in the description. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. It's a great podcast. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Um, and go follow me on all my socials.